Hi everyone, this is Jared Lantern, and I'm here with, um, it's sort of a prop review, um, it's more of just a prop, this is a mask, this is a, as you can see, it's a Cyclops mask, it is a combination of a couple companies who made it, um, here's the uh, tag for it. All right, so I do apologize. Um, those awful popping noises was apparently my uh, external mic cutting out on me. So I'm gonna do a voiceover uh, for the rest of the video, and I did not feel like re-recording the whole thing, so I'll do my best to uh, kind of catch up where I left off. But basically, um, as I was saying, this is like a combination of two companies, and you can download the app on your smartphone, and it's called Digital Duds. And they do a bunch of different types of masks. Um, they also have uh, t-shirts and ugly Christmas sweaters and other kind of aspects of costumes that you can um, slip your phone into to give it some sort of animated effect. And um, I had looked at, uh, uh, we're having a freak show section in our haunt and I had looked at different characters that are um, in a freak show that you would find in a freak show and one of them was like you know one-eyed monster slash cyclops and i could not find any props uh for cyclops um i know oriental training does have um, a, a cyclops skeleton oriental trading is all about the skeletons now they had like success with the mermaid skeleton and they kind of just did everything but anyway i could not find any other props um except for this mask which i will be using so I just wanted to show you the details of the map. There's a Ghoulish Productions little stamp right there. But just amazing detail um, on the mask itself. Much like the little monster, just a lot of like, you know, smaller details, which really I think us as haunters really appreciate those smaller details that go into making these items. Now here is, um, I'm using an old phone um, to use for the app. Here's the app. It's, again, it's called Digital Duds. And there's the different items that you could use, um, use this for. So you could see different types of ma masks that are available. Um, and so now I'm just opening up the one for the Cyclops. And you can choose different settings for it. There's sound, um, there's, um, and the sound for this is just like a squishy sound, like the eyeball moving, which, you know, it's not horrible. It's not necessary either, but it just would be lost in the haunt. So there is the um, eyeball for the cyclops mask and you have the option to kind of move the eyeball side to side you know to adjust it to your liking um, you can make the eyeball smaller you can make the eyeball bigger uh, so you just kind of like play around with it once it's inside the mask and i'll show you in a little bit of how it's pretty easy to change the settings without taking the phone out of the mask itself uh, it does fit pretty snug into the mask and i'll show that to you as well and right now I'm just showing you um, how you can lock and unlock the screen so um, when you're touching it, when you put it into the mask, you're not going to uh, change your settings that you've already set for it. And I apologize again, I don't remember what I originally said in the video, um, but I think I'm just adjusting the eyeball like I said I was. And in the original video, you could actually hear the uh, squishy noise of the the eyeball, but... So here is where you the phone would slip in. There's a there's a little pocket that, that slips into the front. Um, the one I'm using for the mask is an HTC uh, old uh, Android, which is slightly larger than the iPhone that is like the phone that I always use. But both of them fit in there really nicely. Um, I never felt like I was going to tear the mask or anything. Like I said, it's a very snug fit. Uh, here are the eye holes for your eyes um, if you were to use this as a mask. So they're pretty. Um, they're pretty prevalent, like you can really see them, uh, which kind of ruins the effect. Um, obviously, I have the flash on for my camera, so it shows up even more. Um, if there's a way that I can kind of hide that a little bit more once I'm, it's in use, I'll definitely try to do that. Um, but of course, if you're going to be wearing this as a mask, you're going to want to see, so that's kind of necessary. Um, the breathability of the mask, I'm not sure. I have not put it on yet. Um, but I do, I will show you the inside in a moment. Um, 
so if you look on the inside it has pretty good padding on the back like you have three um, foam squares kind of supporting your your neck and the top of your head and then you can see the black patch over there is uh, the phone pocket um, which again you know safety wise I don't know if you want a phone right next to your forehead I'm sure it's fine um, but being that I'm using it as a prop anyway it really doesn't matter and when, when this was shipped to me it was completely folded up in a little plastic bag and um, but like any really good quality latex it just you know popped out back into regular form um, and I believe now I'm going to show you uh, the phone inside the mask. So there is the phone has been placed inside the pocket from the mask and the eyeball feature is turned on. And I will say that the effect in person is much better than it's coming off on the phone uh, or on the camera, I should say. Um, it looks way more realistic. You know, it's when you're filming another phone with your phone, it's not the effect is not going to be that great. Uh, in person, though, the eyeball really does look very realistic. Um, and yeah, I, it, it's it's a shame that it's not coming off um, totally and completely on camera. Um, but I assure you that it does look really cool. So I'm just showing you instead of having to uh, remove the phone from the mask, you can unlock the screen you know just from the front and then you can make the eyeball bigger you can position it any way you want it so you don't have to worry about um, taking it out of the mask and then you just lock the screen again so you don't um, change your settings and of course you always want to make sure if you're going to be doing this that you're um, one thing you're on airplane mode uh, it kind of ruins the effect if it you know incoming call by mom you know shows up um, and also you want to make sure that your settings are set to uh, your phone does not fall asleep at all. Uh, if it goes to sleep, then of course you lose, you lose the effect. But there it is. I just wanted to pull out a bit so you could see the whole thing. Um, it's just such an amazing effect. Um, and a very interesting concept as well. And um, I think now is when I try to zoom in to get a clearer shot of the eyeball to give you more... Um, a better idea of what the colors actually look like. And it's, um, I don't know if I said the price yet, I got it on Amazon for $35. Um, unfortunately, it was not Prime, so I did have to pay shipping to the, you know, the third-party seller, um, and they, it was $15. So, you know, 50 bucks for this mask in total is not bad for a mask. Um, masks can be very, very expensive, especially more detailed and larger ones like this. Um, and especially if you're getting a, uh, uh, added animation effect like that. And, um, yeah, there's, again, I don't know what I, what I originally said in the video, but, um, it's just gonna be I think it's gonna be a great uh, addition the cast members that have seen it so far um, especially the ones that are going to be actors inside the freak show are really looking forward to kind of being paired up with this guy in the haunt and um, so I can't wait to show it to you and what I'm gonna do is um, the body that I plan to use this on is actually an old spirit uh, Halloween uh, prop that I no longer have the head for and I thought it would go really well with it. I'm not going to say which one yet because I might change my mind. But um, it's going to be a life-size prop. Um, and I, I, it's a, like I said, it's, it's a headless prop. I sold the head. And um, I was wanting to use the body. So now I thought this would be a perfect time to do so. So that is pretty much it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, keep it creepy.